11 people have died of the coronavirus in the U.S. at this point. The latest death in California, that passenger on that cruise ship. The remainder of the 10 were in Washington state and most of them from a single nursing home in the Seattle area. Congress just passed an $8.3 billion bill to fight the outbreak. And this all comes as Massachusetts health officials gave an update on this battle. WBZ's Katie Brace joins us live in studio with that news. Katie? Well, guys, there's still one positive case and one presumptive case of coronavirus here in Massachusetts, and roughly 250 people continue to monitor themselves. Now, the number of those infected nationwide has grown to 153, and the focus is still curbing the spread. At MBTA stations, signs promote steps to prevent the spread of COVID-19, the coronavirus strain alarming many people like this rider. Cleanliness to the stations, you know, and uh, the biggest fear is that they don't keep the public informed. As in New York, the T will now clean handrails, benches, and fare equipment every four hours. The risk to the general Massachusetts public at this time remains low. The Seattle area remains the epicenter of the outbreak, with at least 10 confirmed deaths. Six are connected to a nursing home in Kirkland, the other in a nearby county. And now in Northern California, an elderly person with multiple underlying health conditions has died from the illness. The deceased was a passenger on a princess cruise from San Francisco to Mexico on February 11th to February 21st. In Los Angeles, an airport medical screener is now self-quarantined after testing positive for the virus. And in New Rochelle, New York, 11 people are infected, all connected to a lawyer in his 50s who became ill. His wife has also tested positive. His 20-year-old son has also tested positive. His daughter has tested positive. And his neighbor, who drove him to the hospital. His law office colleagues are being tested, and his temple is closed indefinitely while the congregates self-quarantine. Vice President Pence says the government plans to expand testing and that coronavirus tests would be covered by all private health care, Medicare and Medicaid. The House, as you mentioned, has passed an $8.3 billion emergency spending package in response to the outbreak. Lisa. Well, thank you, Katie.